In this video, I show you how to add fonts on CapCut on your iPhone or iPad or even Android devices. Make sure you watch this full guide right until the end because I'm showing important information throughout the whole video and let's go and jump straight into this. This guide should work on iOS devices and Android devices and let's get right into this. So the first thing you actually need to do to go and import and add fonts to CapCut is we first need to go and close off of CapCut because we need to go and download some fonts or a font we want to go and add. So go and open up any web browser. I'm just going to go and use Safari uh, simply because it's the default browser. Then what you need to do is go and tap on the URL bar. Now a great site I recommend for downloading fonts is called DaFont. I'll show you in just a moment, but you can go to other free font sites as well. I just tend to use the font. So it's literally D-A-F-O-N-T, just like so, and I'm gonna go and hit go. Then it's just dafont.com at the top, just like so. Now, as you can see, this site is primarily made for desktop computers. So it can be a little hard to navigate on your phone, but just make the most of it and you can always go and zoom in. So at the top here, we've got a load of different sort of genres and types of um, categories you can go and look at. Uh, so yeah, there are so many to go and look at. I tend to just go and look at the top fonts because these tend to be sort of the most popular ones and they always look quite good. So in this case, I think I'm gonna try and get this font here called Cool Vertica. So I'm gonna go and swipe across the page like so and then go and press on download like this. Now, as you can see, we then go and get this pop-up saying, do you want to go and download coolvertica.zip? You then need to go and press download and the download will begin. Now, the next thing you need to do is if you're on an iPhone, go and open the files app or if you're on an Android, go and open up your File Explorer app as well. So just go swipe across or search for your files app, just like so. And what you need to do is go and find the file you just downloaded. So in this case, I, I think it's in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna go and open it up here and go and look for it. Here's the file I just downloaded right at the top of my downloads folder. And so what you need to do is if you're on an iPhone, it's just go and tap on it once like so and what this is going to go and do is unzip it as you can see it's now gone and created a folder i'm pretty sure you can do a similar thing on android devices as well then what we now need to do is actually head back to capcut so go and close off of files and go and open up capcut just like so then what you need to do is go and tap on the text tool just like this and then go and tap on add text on the left hand side um, and then what you want to do is go and type in what you'd like. Then what you need to do is go and tap on font on the left, just like so. And as you can see, we can go and view all these fonts, but at the top, we've got this option for add font. So go and tap there. Then as you can see, we just have this plus button. So go and tap on the plus button like so, and your files app will open or your file explorer will open. What you need to do is go over to the right and go and tap on browse. And by default, you may be taken to a folder, but if you just go and tap on browse and the back button a few times, you'll then be taken here. And what you want to do is go and press on on my iPhone or downloads or just wherever you went and save the file. So in my case, it's in my downloads. I'll tap on downloads. Then you need to go and tap on the folder that we just went and created by tapping on it originally. And then here it is. As you can see, we've got quite a few different files here. Now the files we need to go and use are .otf. This is a type of font. As you can see, there's quite a few different types. So what we'll need to do is go and import these one by one. They all look slightly different. Uh, what I'm going to do is just go and get the cool Vertica RG. I'm pretty sure that stands for regular. So then tap on it like so. Then as you can see, we've now gone and added it. And we can now go and start using this font. It's automatically been selected. And that's what it looks like. If you go and remember what it looked like on the font.com and that's it. You can then go and add effects to it, change the style, you know, add, add effects like this. 